What's up YouTube? This is Rambo and today I'm coming to you with my first cutoff video. Uh, mainly I'll be doing these for a hard point and capture the flag. Uh, today our first cutoff video is going to be on the hard point slums. Um, I'll be showcasing a league play match. Uh, as you can see this is my class setup for the game type. Uh, mainly I'll be showcasing, I'll be teaching you guys how to cut off away from the hill. Um, it's super important because cutting off away from the hill and controlling the spawn at the same time gives you a second chance if you miss those cutoffs, giving you extra hill time and your objective player having an easy life. So let's get right into it with the first hill. The first hill on this map is really not that important. I mean, you're never really going to get like a full 60 seconds out of it, uh, mainly due to the fact that the spawn switch left and right sometimes, and you mainly want to you want you mainly want to keep the the setup for the second hill. So if you're a team spawning on the left side of the map, you want to kind of push by the hill and try and get control for the second hill because the, the hills in the corners are the hills you'll get most time out, out of 90% of the time. So as you can see, uh, this is a league play match. Um, there's not really going to be that much team coordination, so I would strongly suggest if you just look at the, the importance of uh, the cutoffs I'm putting when I'm playing uh, the corner hills, um, you'll be seeing. I'll be also pinpointing a few mistakes that I did throughout the game. Um, to try and help you guys, maybe if you make those same uh, those same plays, try and make you understand why those are mistakes and uh, certain uh, different plays that uh, I, I made really well, and I'll t I'll tell you why I made them really well. So, as you can see right now, one of my teammates just spawned the other side of the map, which is the point I was making as far as the this hill being really inconsistent. Uh, the other team actually got 30 seconds out of it, which is a pretty a really good start for them. Um, at this point, my team should start moving to uh, to the left side to the next hill. Uh, but obviously, like I said, this is a league match, so the coordination, even there, even I wasn't really on top of it. As you see, I spawned there, and I'm kind of pushing up in the middle again for no reason. So, um, like I said, it's not going to be some extra cool scrim gameplay uh, of Optic Gaming anymore. Uh, for now, I'll have to stick with these to try and teach you guys. So, as you can see, this is the, the second hill. Um, the first line on the left side is the first cutoff you want to make. So, mainly, this is the away from hill cutoff. This is the uh, ideal cutoff. So, mainly, you got one blue, one middle, and one in the outer ring spawn. And then if ever my team dies and we control that red dot on the map, that's the second spawn. And then my team can cut off those those closer inner inner cutoffs from the hill. So mainly this gives you pretty much two chances at it. You have two chances. The other team has to kill you eight times before you give up the hill completely. So that's the very important point and topic of cutting away from the hill is the, giving your team the maximal ability of holding a hill for the longest time possible when a hill is obviously holdable, unlike the middle hill is not really holdable. So... At this very moment, you saw I was cutting off the middle and the and the outer outer cutoff. So um, at this point, I pushed in blue. Maybe that wasn't that good of a decision. Maybe I should have backed up a bit and stay uh, get behind that little crate head glitch. Uh, but as you can see, our VS FX guy just got a three piece. So pretty much uh, the the second the second tier of the cutoff, we didn't even have to make really. We can we can already start pushing up to the to the primary cutoff point. So as you can see, we got the maximum time out of this hill. they they. They did, they, the only time they got by is when uh, one of our players pushed through blue and uh, the player cut off our middle. So moving on to the next hill as I'm moving across the map. This cutoff is a bit more difficult to cut off away from the hill since those main cutoffs uh, have different choke points. Like the middle one, you can come in from the left and the right. So uh, there's a lot of jeeps there you can use as a head glitch. So blue, middle, and the back side would be uh, the three main cutoffs. The back side is really important on this one since uh, that's a main spawn point. So... Um, one of the reasons why I put an emphasis on this one is the fact that if you control that back one, you're not only cutting off uh, the backside, you're not only keeping spawn for your team, you're setting up your team for the next hill. Uh, mainly, the, team, the, the your opponents are going to be spawning across the map every time if you control that back spawn. So uh, this hill is probably the most important hill on the map, uh, not only for time and uh, possible time. It's, I, I mean, the second hill is probably like, the easiest one to get a lot of time out of. But this one is the most important one because of this of the setup for the next hill. So as you can see, I'm gonna get cut off guard here. So one of the players on the opponent, uh, the opposing team is gonna spawn behind me. Um, I was at this point, I'm not sure what I was doing. I'm gonna be pulling out my knife here shortly. I'm not sure. Uh, but as you can see, he got a back. He spawned in the back, uh, the back building, and at that point, they got the hill control for the the last seconds here. Um, I get a pretty good spawn here on the next hill, and here are the cutoffs. So. Mainly, you want to emphasize the two main cutoffs on this one would be the middle one and the, the ring one, uh, the one on the top side of your screen. Those are really the main cutoffs on this one, uh, mostly due because uh, the next hill is going to be moving there in the first place, and most of the spawns are made in the ring. So a lot of the spawns you'll see on the top right side of your screen for the opponent team, and you'll see me on this hill. I play this really, really good, and I get a lot of good cutoffs for my team, and pretty much uh, 
set up my team for some good hill time. So as you can see, I spawn on the hill. So important thing to note here is I do not stay on the hill. Even if I don't have a teammate on the hill, I push through and get the cutoff. It's mo it's so much more important to get the cutoff before even getting hill time. I forfeited four or five seconds for a hill time. Obviously at this point you saw, um, maybe I could have got those four or five seconds because it didn't come right away. But as you can see right now, my choke point is going to have a lot of people coming through. Uh, mainly I get the first three and they're still going to be coming through this choke point because that's pretty much one of the main spawns when your team controls the backside of the map. So as you can see, I'm getting really good cutoffs. My hill guy has yet to be touched again. And we're, we're getting another good 40 plus seconds from a hill, which is always a good thing. Um, I pick up a scorpion. As you see, I had to switch guns because I ran out of ammo. And I picked up a scorpion with rapid fire, which is pretty weird. But I'm not sure why anyone would use that since the fire rate on this gun is, is high enough. But as you can see, we were controlling the back spawn. So even if I die, I still have easy access to the hill. And we can cut off from the inner hill. Uh, the inner cutoffs, obviously, my hill, my hill guy was able to get a few kills on the choke that I died from. And uh, at that point, we got, like I said, we got a really good time out of the hill again. And uh, really giving the, our opponents a hard time. So, once again, the middle hill time, really scrappy. Uh, not really much I can say. As you can see, I just spawned on the opposite side of where I was just spawning. So, I mean, it's really, really hard to, uh, to control this hill to the fullest. Uh, mainly, this is going to be a clutch plays hill type thing, where the team that gets the most control, uh, the most kills from the hill itself, will probably be the team that will get the most time out of it. So as you see, I pushed through to the opposite side, so I'm getting a bit smarter right now. Um, the, the opponent team was spawning on that side, so I try to kill them off until they spawn across the map. Um, this At this time, we're just trying to get as much hill time as this one, on this one because we felt that uh, at that point in time, uh, the only hill time they were getting was from the middle hill. So uh, as you'll see, we'll be able to set up again on the next one as much as we could. But we have a pretty comfortable he lead here as we're leading by 130 seconds at this point. And, uh, pretty much got complete map control so once again moving to the next hill blue is the probably the most important cutoff as you can see my team was all spawning in the backside so uh, I didn't have to go for the hill um, as as any player in this team this is a game type where you don't really need a set objective player uh, for this map especially um, maybe some some uh, hard point maps you'll have uh, more like hills that are more prompt to certain like let's say grenades and a lot of like a lot of fire and an explosive. So maybe having an objective player that has a flag jacket or, or something like that would be very useful. But at this very moment in time, we don't really need that type of player since everyone can do everything. So uh, I'm an objective-minded player, but I understand that uh, objective objective-minded doesn't mean always just going for the hill time. It means cutting off, making an understanding of what the the main objective is for your team. So as you can see, the game is reaching its end right here. Um, I decided to give up on the last hill since my team had control of it and push through across the map and try to break those back spawns right here. As you can see, I'm still watching here just making sure they weren't spawning there. Um, one of the players snuck behind behind me, but at this point we need seven seconds to win. So that's pretty much going to be it for this gameplay. Um, I hope I helped you guys understand uh, the basic, the general aspect of cutoffs in hard point on slums. And uh, I'll be posting more of these. And if you guys like it, like it. If you guys don't like it, dislike it. And uh, I hope you guys can comment on the video and uh, help me out, make this uh, video a better experience for you guys. So have a good day, guys.